Greetings, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, coming at you with another Bounty Hunter break, 2022-23 Panini Prison Basketball. Four box, pick your team number 14. This one we filled up straight up, which I appreciate here on Tuesday, True Tuesday. Pick your team 14. James, thank you. Last Spot Mojo, Nets, thanks everybody for picking up your spots straight up. The next four box break is in the store uh, right now. We pulled the remaining teams. Before we started this break, we pulled the remaining teams and we put it into um, we put it into a filler. It's that Prism Basketball Hobby Pack. All right, now remember the squiggle marks we made on there, so you know they're, they're from the same case. I don't think we have any more after this, so let's fill up the final four boxes tonight. I feel, like, I feel like we will get some more though. Actually, I have not checked. I'll double check after that other one sells out. Now, take a look at the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. Nightbot just dropped it in the chat. But we are getting fairly, uh, fairly booked up for the evening. There's a lot of breaks lined up after this. So make sure you check the schedule. And. Um, You know, keep placing your orders, and we'll see what we can get to before uh, before before I call it. Playbook's really close. That's not a very long break at all either. Frankly, I think all of the breaks on the site are actually pretty short, so it's a little bit easier for me to do multiple shorter breaks, even if we go over a little bit, which I'm always down to. At least for the most part, I'm down to. But uh, yeah, but especially if they're kind of like shorter, shorter breaks. But yeah, five left in that number block, and that'll knock out. I mean, we sold out five straight up pretty quickly. I feel like we can get the other five going pretty quickly as well. I think Jonathan just picked up the last bob. So that, that uh, flawless that's on the schedule is official. Now, I'm certain that it would sell out while I was doing this, so thank you, everyone. Well, there's the old uh, Suns are on. Suns are playing the Clippers. Guess who's refing the game, ladies and gentlemen? There's Tyrese Maxey and Jaden Ivey. Nice. Rookie auto. Sensational signature for Detroit. Patrick with the Pistons. Nice start. And there's Tyrese Maxey, 157 at 29. This is a bounty break, so these are the exact numbers we're looking for. Good luck. Jason Parker saying, I'll take a couple if I had help. Well, let's see a show of hands. Let's see a show of hands. How many would buy a playbook random number block spot? Drop the number of spots you would, you would get as well. Because maybe, I don't know, some people do this. They're like, ah, I'll get a spot if it gets close. But maybe everyone's thinking that. Maybe everyone's thinking, I'll get a spot if it gets close. And then no one buys a spot and never gets close. But maybe if we had a show of hands, maybe we'd have four or five people in here already. And then I'll be like, well, we got the, we got the numbers. Buy your spots is what I'd say. So I'm assuming Jason would be in for one or two. So now there's three spots left. Who else would buy a spot? There's Montrez Harrell, 47 out of 49, orange. That'll be for the Sixers. That'll be for Dave and the Sixers. Any show of hands? Or maybe Jason will know that he doesn't have support. <laughs> He'll buy something else. Either way, it'll help Jason out, figure his decision out. There's Dyson Daniels, rookie hyper, Pelicans. Marcus Morris Sr. to 199. We need 100 out of 199, a little off there. But that'll go to the clip show. That's going to go to Jonathan.
I'm sorry. Apologies to Tyrese Martin, but we got a pretty protective plastic area here. It's a Tyrese Martin Silver. That's for Atlanta. William. Lakers edition of Westbrook. Really wish it worked out. I'm, I am a Westbrook fan, but just the fit was terrible. Lakers front office didn't put himself put them in a good position. It looks like no support, Jason. Maybe maybe we're getting something else for the for the end of the night. We got a red Chet Holmgren. Thirty-seven out of two ninety-nine. OKC Bob Sue with the OKC Thunder. There you go, Bob. Nice. And that's out of two ninety-nine. Oh no, we're not close to it. What a what a double, what a double that would be if you had a uh, the red Chet Holmgren and the bounty. Ooh. For the Jazz, sensational signatures, Odoka Azubuike for Matthew Shira in Utah. I guess not, Jason. Maybe we have a lot of West Virginians here. My, uh, here's a Jabari Smith Jr. My grandfather's, who's no longer with us, RIP, there's Malik Monk, 75. My grandfather's sister, I think, lived in uh, Virginia Beach, West Virginia. And I remember one summer when I was a wee lad, my grandpa used to live in Fayetteville. We uh, went over there to visit him and then uh, drove up to uh, drove up to visit the relatives. In Virginia Beach, went to a water park there. I don't know if there's like a famous water park there. I was a kid. I don't remember. But as a kid, it was awesome. All right, next box. Oh, no worries, Graham. It'll eventually happen. 99% of the breaks eventually happen at one time or another. Never been to West Virginia. Don't, don't know what happens there. Yeah, we have been pretty lucky with those, with, with especially with OKC in these prison boxes. It's crazy. I mean, for those of you who are not feel, familiar with basketball collecting or or prison basketball, like. That red Chet Holmgren, I mean, someone should look that up. You'd probably be surprised at how well, like, a Paolo Banchero, like, the number seems kind of high. Any other product, it might not be that, value-wise, might not be that much, but. But I've seen some parallels of the top-tier rookies go for more than the base auto of the top-tier rookies, as crazy as that sounds. Now, why is there no East Virginia? That's just Virginia, I guess, Gilo. I guess the Vir the Commonwealth was like, nah, now nah, we good. We don't want to be East Virginia. We're, we're OG Virginia. You guys can you guys can go west and do your West Virginia thing. We've got Luka Doncic red, and he reveals an EJ Lydell. Pelicans rookie auto going to Rick T. Johnny's talking Northern Virginia. D does does the Northern Virginia want to secede from Virginia? Here's Luca, two hundred and fifty to two hundred and ninety-nine. 
And to 60, Rob Roy. Yeah, that's what we're saying, Carl. Virginia, East Virginia is Virginia. They just opted not to be East Virginia when West Virginia happened. They want to be OG Virginia. There's Wilt Chamberlain to 149. Purple Ice for the Lakers. That's going to go to Ed. Although when the Dakotas happened, there's North and South Dakota, right? Carolina's North and South. It's not like one Carolina decided to just stay Carolina and make the other take the cardinal direction. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to dig into maybe a Wikipedia article, Chilo. We'll reveal the, the naming conventions there. There's Oshai uh, Agbaji, blue, revealing a, a Laker, Scotty Pippen Jr. Sensational signatures, rookie auto. Right, Jason's claiming, hey, the Commonwealth is the, the original Virginia. You don't want to know what goes on in West Virginia. The only thing I know about West Virginia is that's where the country roads will take me. There's 004 out of 199. Oshai, that'll be for Utah and Matthew and the Jazz. Ooh, Phoenix, they're up 65-59. We've got a rookie hyper, Dale and Terry. Then we got a Jalen Williams. This is Santa Clara edition, the higher draft pick of the two Jay Williamses. That'll be for OKC. That'll be for Bob. We got a purple Kevin Love, 87 out of 99. I guess there's some cool Civil War stuff in West Virginia, right? I think Harper's Ferry is in West Virginia. I think that's a cool thing that a lot of my East Coast friends um, got to do a lot of uh, got to do a lot of Civil War like field trips. Going to like old battleground sites and stuff like that. We didn't get that in California. We got trips to. <laughs> we got vacations really. We got trips to Catalina Island. That was a school trip of mine. Go. I guess we got ghost towns. There's some mining towns in Southern California, but most of the mining stuff is in Northern California. What did we get here in Southern California? I think we went to the beach. <laughs> there's Mark Williams for the Hornets, Charlotte, and there's a Jade Nivy for Detroit. That'll be for Patrick. But yeah, a lot of my friends in like their elementary or high school years are like, yeah, we go like we went to like Gettysburg, and we're like, what? Yeah, we went to uh, we went to D.C. Got to see a bunch of museums. That was awesome. Got to see all the monuments. And I was like, what? 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 What were our big field trips? Camping at Catalina Island and hiking around and snorkeling. Snorkeling amongst the giant kelp and looking at Garibaldi, the state fish of California, bright orange fish. Or the mountains, I guess. We got mountains. Not like the Appalachians, but we got mountains. Joshua Tree, the desert is pretty cool, I guess. Dana Point had an old pirate ship. I think I've told the story before. I think sixth grade or something like that. The sixth grade, the big sixth grade trip for my elementary school was uh, was a overnight trip, just single night, but overnight trip on a pirate ship in Dana Point. 
which is south of Laguna. Um, where that empty old MTV show was, was shot, Laguna High School. But just south of that, and then, uh, you know, you would go overnight and you would learn about, like, all the all the old ship stuff. Maybe it wasn't a pirate ship, but it was just an old, old ship from the 1800s, and you would learn about, like, fathoms and bells and all that sort of stuff. But, um... It was Norman Powell to 149. And that was a big trip, was looking forward to it all year, and then I got sick. I got, I got a cold or something, I couldn't go. I had the permission slip signed, signed and everything. I was bummed. I, did, I made the Catalina trip though. It's Mark Williams, rookie silver. Right, we field trip to the Hollywood sign. Yeah. Go look at stars in a sidewalk. That was that. Those are those are like the LA field trips. Some school, you know, one thing that our that my high school didn't get, that a lot of Southern California high schools do. It just didn't happen in my year. Um, was the Disneyland trip? There's always a senior trip or a grad trip. At Disneyland, they'll they'll like a number of Southern California high schools will will buy out Disneyland together, right? This would be like a dozen high schools or something like that, and then and then you'd have you'd each have your home base though around the park or something like that. You can res we can reserve a home base around the park somewhere. Um, but yeah, our school never did that, or at least when I was when I was there. Got Patrick Baldwin Jr. to 125. Another Jaden Ivey. All right, all right. West Virginia has Harpers Ferry, but Virginia has Fredericksburg, Chancellorsville, Manassas, right? Richmond, many more battlefields. That's true. Yeah, West Virginia made to the Union 75 years after Virginia. North Carolina made to the Union one year after South Carolina. But so was Carol, you, Mike Tower, you think Carolina? Was the condition of North Carolina being in the Union, was that South, that Carolina would be called South Carolina? Was South Carolina called South Carolina before North Carolina? The Ben Mathurian for the Pacers. That's going to be for Brian Crouch. Everyone see uh, Ken Burns' Civil War documentary? Excellent. If you're into that sort of stuff, really excellent. Here's Kelly Overy Jr. And behind him is rookie auto Malachi Brenham. That's for William and the Spurs. Now there's a there's a person who's interviewed quite frequently, um, quite frequently in the Civil War documentary. His name is Shelby Foot, old Southerner. Is no longer with us anymore. Great drawl, but has an epic, I think has an epic three volume. Uh, it's Cali Aubrey Jr. Epic three volume, just history book I guess of the Civil War. Very detailed. Kelly Aubrey Jr. Uh, for the Hornets, that'll be for Brian and Charlotte. 62 out of 199. He's so monotone, you know, you don't like Ken Burns' voice? I don't think Ken Burns, uh, here's 126 out of 299. No, not close. Um, that's P.J. Tucker for the six. Not close to the bounty. This is for Dave. He doesn't narrate Civil War, though. I think someone else does. There's Reggie Jackson's sensational signatures. He's a great narrator. The guy who narrates Civil War, I think, has 
narrated a bunch of other stuff, but I think has written books on like the Declaration of Independence, Brooklyn Bridge, number so you'll know the name if you're a reader. That's uh, Jonathan and the Clippers will get Reggie Jackson. Wow. Jason Parker has a cavalryman. Calvary have a cavalryman buried in your backyard, killed three days before Lee's surrender. Civil War book by Shelby Foote. I've not read, but I have audio booked it over like a few months. It's, it's a long one. He doesn't read it. I wish he read it. He's got a great voice, but. Oh, the Kyle Kuzma orange for Matthew, by the way, is to 49. 17 out of 49. Not a, not a bounty number. All right, final box. Let's get a bounty here. 24 out of 99, 100 out of 199, or 196 out of 299. Doesn't even have to be an auto. It could just be a parallel. The like Ken Burns documentaries, though, Gabe, they're they're pretty on brand. I think they're usually commissioned for like NPR. They're supposed to be a little, uh, a little, uh, a little dry. Ken Burns baseball, also uh, also excellent. Ken Burns, Vietnam War, also excellent. Uh, one Ken Burns thing that I haven't seen that I want to see, though. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff I haven't seen, but one thing I want, jazz. I haven't seen, I haven't watched all of Ken Burns' jazz. As a big music guy, I feel like I should, I should do that. I'm a fan of jazz. Jason, you met Ken Burns. Plays a few instruments. Played a concert for a church. Wow. I didn't realize that. I realized he was a musician. Um, you should finish Ken Burns Baseball. It's pretty good. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do uh, Jaspie's uh, Jaspie's Video Club. We'll all watch and discuss Ken Burns baseball together. Maybe we'll do that leading up to leading up to next year's regular season, like during spring training. We can watch an episode a week and talk about it. There's Dominique Wilkins, Purple Ice, reveals a Trevor Keels, 10 out of 10, rookie auto for the Knicks. And the, uh, the Knicks play today, they fell to the Cavs. Darius Garland putting up 32 points and 7 assists. Cavs beat the uh, Knicks 107 to 90, the series is tied. The Dominique Wilkins Purple Ice, 007 out of 149. Hawks, William. There's 42 out of 125, Tim Duncan. We need more baseball docs. I do like a good baseball doc. You know, I wonder if there's like if there's like a director's cut of baseball by Ken Burns, because I feel like there could be, I feel like there's so much information. I feel like there could be um, Tim Duncan, Blue Eyes to William to 125. There could be twice as many episodes, and I'd watch them. And a Chet, base Chet Holmgren. Uh, There's a good YouTube channel called 8-Bit Baseball. It makes many documentaries. 
I ran towards them, it'll be like Mike Trout was trapped. Draft is so late. I think I've seen those. I think, I think they are pretty good. A little bug over there. Get out of here, bug. All right, behind Malik Monk is Dale and Terry. That will be for Dave and the Bulls. And Blue Malik Monk for the Kings. That'll be for Ed. 76 out of 199. We got Andrew Nemhard, rookie Pulsar. Pacers, that'll be for Brian. Another Jaden Ivey. The Jalen Brown, what was it? Jalen Brown, was it number? What was the parallel? No, yeah, the red red waves are not numbered. Found it, Nick. Everything ships, but it's just not numbered. The the flat red are numbered. John Stockton, 65 out of 99. That's for Matthew and the Jazz, the Jabari Smith Jr. base. Rookie card for Andrew and the Rockets. Trevor Keels, hyper parallel for the Knicks. Hyper, also not numbered. That will be for New York. That will be for Dave. Jabari Smith Jr., 208 out of 299. Dang. Rockets, that'll be for, for Andrew. A little ding in the corner down there, but there you go. To 299 going your way. No bounty, I guess? Maybe not. There's Nets edition of Durant. And a Shaquille O'Neal base card at the end. No bounty here, but some solid stuff here. The final uh, four box break, or the final four box of the case in the store right now. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.